have an architectural background or an illustrative background to begin with. I go to Art Center and take illustration from a guy, go, Gary Meyer, the head of the department, or do something like that. Uh, he has a motion picture illustration. And I would do that. And either that or have an architect's degree. A decorator won't cut it, but you know, this is my time. Things are different. Uh, my time, every you, art directors, there's a bad road today. Because used to be, you'd get a script, you make a major studio, it was yours. You had some empty stages and whatever it was, you did it. You know, and you made the sketches and you sold it. But now you have to go out and pick a house and do this and do that. Go here, go there, you shoot that. What you're doing is you're, you're more of a location scout than an art director. And then you come along with that big title, production designer, and what the hell are you? You're a location scout. And I don't know where people go with it today, you know. To get your own way, you'd have to be terribly unpleasant. Uh, it, uh, you know, but the most successful people in the business are unpleasant, uh, even directors. I, I used to work with a director called Sidney Lanfield. I don't know if you've ever heard of him or not. But he, he always said, and he used to talk to me, and he always said that you're going to be, you know, uh, really good. You better be, I mean, really bad. You better be, you know, careful because they're going to get you. You can be an SOB, but you're going to have to be goddamn good. Because if you're not good, you better be really pleasant to everybody. And that, that's sort of how it works. You know, you can get by one way, but... To be really good, you're going to make a lot of people angry. They're out to get you. They don't forget.